Before we get into today's video, the first issue of our magazine in 2024 will be released on the first weekend of February. Now, to cut back on expenses and leftovers, we are releasing the magazine a bit differently this year. Instead of buying in bulk with a guess of how much stock we'll need, we are now implementing pre-orders the month before its release. This assures... Uh, we'll or only order what we need. So if you want issue number seven, go pre-order a copy now or become a MagPass subscriber and get all 2024 copies with one low price. All right, so the Jet Lawrence, Jason Anderson incident that ensued post-race in San Diego this past week and continues online as Jet Lawrence released an apology, apology shortly thereafter with some sarcasm. And now this morning, Jason Anderson gave his side of the story and he came out with no holds barred. Now before we look at both of their messages and responses, let's first look at the incident at hand to refresh our memory. Here's a new look that I found online, figured I'd add it in. at hand we have all seen it by now i know but it just wraps up the story nicely to have the full context in one video so basically jet was mad that anderson was giving him a hard time and not letting him buy in the race an ego thing in my opinion as el hombre isn't entitled to do anything for jet except to fight him down to the last second it's called racing that's our sport as you saw in the clip jet got a wee bit aggressive which i mean whatever but then he continues to start an argument after the race as if anderson was in the wrong now, I'm not sure if I'd grab and jerk Jet's helmet like that if I was in Anderson's shoes, but I'd try to be the better person myself, but hey, I'd be pretty angry too. Now, post-race that night, Jet Lawrence took to socials to release a statement that read, quote, Tonight, I let emotions get the better of me. I let myself down in the heat of the moment. I'll learn from this, and my apologies to El Umbre. It was on me. I'll pay your fine. AMA, send me the invoice, and per your request, free passes to the fan zone for the season. Sorry, mate. So at first, it seemed like he was giving a genuine, proper apology to Anderson, but then at the end, he threw in some sarcasm, so it's hard to tell if he's being playful, if they're on a friendly level or not. Well, I don't think they are, because today, Anderson gave his own statement, and he really didn't hold back at all. He said it how it was, and kind of exposed the, not eliteness, but you know what I mean, how Jason is kind of up front with the fans he's not afraid to say anything and jet is more of the industry baby of motocross and supercross so here's what uh jason anderson had to say in his statement that he released this morning saying quote okay so first things first my man jet comes at me after he passes me and beat me barks in my face i bark back after the race you have his dad honda guy come up and apologize you have his agent call saying sorry, saying he'll put a post on Jet's page saying sorry. Employee texts me sorry. I didn't take a personal like, hey, it happens deal. Like we are cool and it didn't happen. Not a word from Jet himself. Instead, unfollow and silence from the dude everyone is apologizing for. We live in a day where kids throw a fit and stand behind everyone for the media cleanup crew. Guys, don't keep it real or take responsibility for themselves. I'll take full credit that I'm, uh, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube. Blank, often, but you bet your butt I'll consistently be a uh, blank to you if I feel that way about you. The King won 72 races and kept it 100 till this day. Jet will be amazing, but he will never be the King 71 to go. Now, in my opinion, that is an absolutely perfect response to the situation. This kind of reminds me of back when Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly had a diss battle in the rap industry. Um, Machine Gun Kelly comes out with Rap Devil. Just when you think he won, Eminem comes in with Kill Shot and just ends his career. I mean, he didn't really, but in the moment, it was just like, holy cow, he shut him down. So that's kind of how I feel about this one. Jason Anderson pushed the industry baby aside and shut him down with 100% reality and his personal take Again, with no holds barred, that's why I like Anderson so much. Now, obviously, we all love Jet Lawrence. He's a fantastic racer, got a lot of talent. He's going to be big in the sport and around for a while. Now, it's issues like this that make me kind of lean away from him. I personally like people who are more upfront with situations, cut out the bogus, quit with the lying and the sugarcoating of stuff. Just say it how it is. 
take responsibility for your actions, and it seems that he is not doing that recently. So he's got to definitely turn that ship around before it goes bad. Obviously, he has a large fan base that will kind of forgive him for anything, but if he wants to gain the fandom of the realists, then he's got he's just got to keep it real. Cut the bogus, cut the media cleanup crew, just come out yourself, make a quick Instagram video, he's really good at that, and just say, man, I was angry, it was my fault, sorry, Anderson, let's push this aside and move forward. But instead he does it this way, so I'm hoping he switches his way in the future, but anyway... What do you guys think of this drama? Whose side are you on? I'm obviously on Anderson's side, but is this a good response from Anderson? Do you think he took it too far? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.